Hey VC, David here with a video that's um, a response to some videos I saw earlier this week from other VC members. And um, it was Brian's Vinyl Records and Ron Haggerty that shared uh, some albums from their collection that were soundtracks. So um, I wanted to jump on board and share with you some of my soundtracks. Um, I'll probably break this up into two videos, so I'll be showing my soundtracks A through H today, and then uh, maybe do I through Z um, in a couple days. But the first soundtrack I have in my collection is Angels and Demons. Um, this is by Hans Zimmer. I'm a big fan of the um, film series um, with Robert Langdon. Uh, the, they're the books that were written by uh, Dan Brown, The Da Vinci Code. And uh, I've always really liked the theme from the Da Vinci Code movie called uh, Chevaliers de Sangreal. And um, this album, uh, the second movie in the series, the first in the book series, um, has a variation of that on this. And uh, so had to have it in my collection. So Angels and Demons. Next is uh, Commando. This is the Batman uh, soundtrack by Danny Elfman. Um, this is my favorite movie uh, from the Batman series in the 90s with Michael Keaton. Um, who would have thought that Mr. Mom could pull off Bruce Wayne in uh, Batman? But I just always really liked this score. Um, the main theme is just one that's always been a favorite of mine and uh so i had to have this so this is mondo batman all right next is another one from the batman series and this is the soundtrack to batman forever uh this has the songs um hold me thrill me kiss me kill me by u2 uh, pj harvey has one uh called one time too many uh seal kiss from a rose there's a track from uh, Massive Attack called The Hunter Gets Captured uh, by the Game. Uh, there's a track from Massey Star, uh, Nick Cave, The Offspring, uh, Michael Hutchins from In Excess, and The Flaming Lips. So this is the Batman Forever soundtrack. Next is another one from Danny Elfman, and that is the soundtrack to Beetlejuice. Um, I, I'm a real fan of Danny Elfman's um, music and, and movies. Um, he did the score to a lot of the, top, uh, the Tim Burton movies. Um, he did the score, of course, to Batman, uh, Beetlejuice. Um, I think he did the score to um, Sleepy Hollow. I don't have it on vinyl. I'm not even sure if it's on vinyl, but one I would like to have in my collection. So. Last, oh, 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 sorry, one, one more B. This is Beetlejuice. All right, the last of the Bs, and this is one that um, I'm sure you all are familiar with. This is the soundtrack to Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, I got this probably a couple months ago. Um, really kind of just, this movie really just kind of, um, made me listen to Queen a lot more than I had in the past. Um, and it's made me really just kind of dig into uh, some of their deeper cuts. Um, you know, we're all familiar with the radio hits, Bohemian Rhapsody, Killer of Queen, uh, Bicycle, Fat Bottom Girls, all those. But I mean, I really have been enjoying some of the tracks um, that aren't necessarily heard on the radio. Uh, for example, I really like um, 39. Uh, from, I think it's A Day at the Opera. It's a track that's uh, sung by, by Brian May. Um, like some of the deep cuts on the jazz album. Um, as I showed in one of my previous videos, uh, I got I finally got the uh, News of the World album. Really liking that. I hadn't heard much other than We Will Rock You and, and uh, We Are the Champions, but uh, that's a really great album, so... 
Last of the Bees, this is Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, if you don't have a copy of this, uh, I suggest you uh, get in on the Stranger Queen contest. Uh, she's going to be doing a drawing uh, sometime after the 30th, so you still have a few days left to get your uh, entry in. All right, moving on to the C's. And the only C I have, and that is the score to uh, Christine. This is done by John Carpenter. Um, I just recently watched this movie for the first time and it had been years and uh, it's got some really good stuff. I, I really like John Carpenter's um, approach to music. It's just kind of minimalistic, but it's uh, got some really good, good uh, themes on this album. All right, next is Deadpool 2. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the Deadpool movies. Uh, Ryan Reynolds just couldn't have been a better actor to portray Deadpool. I mean, Ryan Reynolds, as it is, is is witty and, and kind of a, a smart ass. But uh, <laughs> um, I'm not really a Celine Dion fan, but I do like that song, Ashes. If my wife hears me say that, I will never live it down. Um, this also has uh, Peter Gabriel in your eyes. There's an unpl uh, unplugged version of um, Aha's Take On Me. Uh, of course, it's got Cher, If I Could Turn Back Tom, Dolly Parton, 9 to 5, uh, Pat Benatar, and then um, Banger Rang by Skrillex. So, Deadpool 2. All right, next we have E.T. by John Williams. John Williams is another one of those composers that I really like. I mean, you, of course, we all know he did Star Wars. He did Superman. Uh, he did Indiana Jones, E.T. It just He's done so many recognizable scores. Uh, he's one of my favorite composers uh, for movie soundtracks. So, E.T. Next is a Christmas album, and that is the soundtrack to Elf. <laughs> I really like uh, a lot of the tracks on this. Uh, Ella Fitzgerald, Sleigh Ride. Um, I like the track with Leon Redbone and Zoe Deschanel, Baby's Cold Outside. Uh, Jim Reeves does Jingle Bells. Um, a big fan of Brian Setzer. He does the Nutcracker Suite, um, Eartha Kitts on this. Uh, then you have Billy Preston, Eddie Arnold, so this is always a favorite of mine to listen to uh, during the Christmas season, Elf. The next is one I picked up this past uh, Record Store Day. I didn't get it on Record Store Day, but I did find it uh, online, and that is the soundtrack to The Faculty. Uh, this has the Class of 99 which featured Lane Staley from uh, Alice in Chains, Tom Morello from um, Rage Against the Machine, and they do a cover of Another, Another Brick in the Wall Part Two. Uh, it has The Offspring on it, Creed, Soul Asylum, Garbage, uh, Cheryl Crow, Sean Mullins, Oasis, so the faculty. All right, next is a, a soundtrack from the 80s. Um, features K-Log. You think K-Log needs to pay for sex, do you? Mm, no, but that being said, I do think he needs to reevaluate this whole K-Log thing. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you need to reevaluate your face. My... Oh, okay. I can explain that. How? Uh, lip chemo? And that is, uh, Uh, this is a... a a very popular soundtrack. I can remember this uh, uh, being real big when I was, uh, I guess I would have been seven. And um, it was, you, know, you always heard Footloose on the radio. Let's hear it for the boy. Almost Paradise. Holding out for a hero. There's so many good tracks on this album. And definitely one that you need to have in your collection. All right. Next is one I bought this year. And that is... The Forrest Gump soundtrack. Uh, again, uh, so many great songs were in that movie and are featured on this album. 
uh, get everything from Elvis Presley and Dwayne Eddy on to uh, Buffalo Springfield, The Doors, you have Gladys Knight and the Pips, B.J. Thomas, Harry Nilsson, just so many great tracks from uh, different uh, eras, uh, I guess between the 60s and 70s, so good stuff. Next is Friday Night. This is my wife's favorite, one of her favorite vampire movies. So this was uh, bought more for her. Um, it's got the Jay Giles band doing um, the title track, Fright Night. It's got Autograph, Ian Hunter, April Wine, Devo, Sparks, uh, White Sister, The Fabulous Fontaines, and then Brad Fidel doing the uh, Come To Me song, which is my wife's favorite song. Next is the Ghostbusters soundtrack. This is the uh, Ghostbusters that featured the uh, female Ghostbusters. Um, it's got some different versions of the song Ghostbusters. It's got Walk the Moon doing it. It's got Fall Out Boy doing it. It does feature the Ray Parker Jr. version. Um, let's see some other songs on here. It's Good Girls by uh, L. King. Uh, Ghoster by Wolf Alice. Uh, Get Ghost by Mark Ronson, uh, and ASAP Ferg, Party Up by DMX, Rhythm of the Night from DeBarge, which was featured on the original soundtrack, so this is Ghostbusters. Next is the soundtrack to The Graduate. I'm a big fan of uh, this album. I think I paid like two bucks for it at my local um, record store, Pops. Uh, it's, in, it's in really good condition. Um, I'm not sure if it's an original pressing or not. Uh, but uh, whoever had it before me took very good care of it. Of course, this has, you know, sound, the Sounds of Silence of Mrs. Robinson, Scarborough Fair. Um, yeah, so The Graduate. Next, we have The Guardians of the Galaxy. This is the deluxe edition. This is a great soundtrack. Um, it's got a, a nice cross section of a lot of different things. You've got Hooked on a Feeling from Blue Suede, uh, Go All the Way by the Raspberries, Spirit in the Sky from Norman Greenbaum, Moon Age Dream from David Bowie, Full Drown and Fell in Love by uh, Elvin Bishop, I Want You Back by the Jackson Five, um, I'm Not in Love by Tim CC, Come and Get Your Love by Redbone, Cherry Bomb by the Runaways, it's got the uh, Pina Colada song by Rupert Holmes, uh, Oh Child by the Five Star, uh, Stair Steps, and Ain't No Mountain High Enough by Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell. Uh, there is a second album on this, uh, and that is the score, so it has all the uh, music by uh, Tyler Bates from the movie. Alright, next is the Gardens of the Galaxy Volume 2. Again, another great cross-section of songs. It's got Mr. Blue Sky by ELO, Fox on the Run by Sweet, um, Bring It On Home by Sam Cooke. You've got My Sweet Lord from George Harrison, uh, Come A Little Bit Closer by Jay and the Americans, Wham Bam Shangalang by Silver, Surrender by Cheap Trick, and Father and Son by Cat Stevens. And then Disc 2 is, again, uh, some more music from the... Uh, in the movie by Tyler Bates. All right, on to the H's. I've got a lot of these. This is the Halloween 2018 uh, soundtrack from John Carpenter. This is the, let's see which version this is. I've got two different copies. This is the with the blood splatter on it. And I think it also came with a target of Michael Myers. And this is the one that Michael Myers showed in uh, my contest entry into Beth's Halloween in July contest. This is the 
Halloween 2018 soundtrack. This is, I think, just plain black vinyl. I could be wrong. And it might be all orange. I just, uh, let's see here. Yeah, this is the orange vinyl. Um, I got this copy and it has like a skip on it. So it's like a little bitty nick on the vinyl. I didn't return it. I probably should have, but I do have two copies. So I'll just keep this one and, and probably just listen to the one with the blood splatter on it. Uh, next we have the Death Waltz um, Mondo version of the original Halloween score. Uh, this was released, I think, last year. Yeah, it, it, it was last year. And this came um, on an orange and black splatter on clear vinyl. And in addition to Halloween, I've got the Halloween 2 soundtrack as well also from Mondo and this one came on an orange red and blue vinyl and then one more from Mondo and that is the soundtrack to Halloween 3 I think this one, oh, it, it, it kind of opens up weird. So here's the back of it. <laughs> there we go. Opens this way. It's got some spiders and creepy crawlies. And this one came on a clear vinyl with a uh, like a black splatter and it has the uh, shamrock logo on it. So that's all of my Halloween soundtracks. <laughs>was another record store day 2019 release again i didn't get it on record store day but i did find it online and picked it up and uh i've never seen the movie but um i like a lot of the bands that are featured on this album so you've got the prodigy doing spitfire uh, my chemical romance doing i never told you what i do for a living uh the deftones doing minerva uh, another one i recognize is disturbed doing prayer um, you had Marilyn Manson doing Dried Up, Tied, and Dead to the World. Uh, the Stooges doing Dirt. And then on side three, the only two bands that I recognize are the Von Bondies, and they do a song called Not That Social. And then Joy Division doing New Dawn Fades. So House of Wax. And it came on a Coke bottle green colored vinyl. Um, for those of you that are into the Rolling Stones, uh, Let It Bleed is celebrating its 50th anniversary and I believe is being offered on one of the websites and it also comes on a Coke colored uh, vinyl. Alright, and then the last one I want to share with you is uh, one I received this week. Um, and that is the Friday the 13th soundtrack, and it came on a campfire colored vinyl, and it has a target uh, as the label. So, just under 20 minutes here. So that's my uh, soundtrack collection, uh, A through H. I don't think I have as many I through Z, but um, we'll see. So that's going to do it for this video. Hope you all are having a great week so far. Uh, the weekend is just a few days away, and I cannot wait. <laughs> so until next time, take care. Thanks.